Good morning. Welcome to Seeking God Daily. Today we're going to talk about the heart, what lies within, and ask the Lord to bless us with enlightened eyes to see, enlightened ears to hear, and our hearts to receive whatever the Spirit is speaking unto us, that we could draw close into His sweet presence for just a little while, asking of Him to anoint our lips with His word of truth, His word to come into our thoughts that we may dwell upon Him, and His Spirit to dwell in our hearts where the life comes from. So now let us go to the Lord in prayer. Precious and Holy Father, once again I come before you, and once again you know what lies on our heart within. You hear every word that is going through our thoughts and our hearts at the same time. And no matter where we are or what we are doing, you see each and every one of us. You know the very intents of what lies at our heart's door. For you said, Father, that you see the intents of the heart. <clears throat> Many are out there walking in disarray, not knowing which way to turn or where to go. But Lord, your Spirit comes down to guide your children in the steps they must take. And we must always seek after your Spirit to guide us, your Word to teach us, and your hand to stay upon us that we may be uh, protected at all times from the enemy that comes in unawares trying to catch us off our guard that we would uh, somehow come against you and Lord that's not pleasing in your sight but we must always remain on guard against the enemy having your cover up on our heads all the way down to our feet for the whole armor of God protects our heart and our thoughts and it causes our en enemies to flee from before us <clears throat> This day is a day that is blessed because it is your day. You made it, you created us, and you have plans and purposes for everyone's life. And I'm asking, Father, that whoever is out there and in need of guidance, that you would enlighten their minds to hear, their eyes to see, and their hearts to receive all that you speak unto them, no matter where they are located or what part of the earth they live on. I'm asking healing for everyone's body that has a problem that is seeking after you. I'm asking blessings to rain down from heaven upon their homes, that provisions be made, an overflowing abundance of your peace and joy rest upon every one of them. For in so doing, Father, we receive your blessings, and I thank you that you are always with us, no matter where we go or what we are doing. We can always look to you and call out upon your name and receive an answer to our prayers when we truly seek after you with a heart that desires to know you more and more intimately every day. Today, Lord, we're going to look at the heart as you have directed me to do. This bride should have a heart that is pure, a mind that is thinking upon your thoughts, and she should be shining in the light of your glory that is upon her face. For everyone who is of you, Father, you know us and you call us each one by name. And we know you, for we hear your voice and another we will not follow. Now, Lord, I pray that you would help me. As I come to your word to explain just a little bit of what you lay up on my heart to bless another who may come and listen to this today or whenever it is being played, that their hearts would receive the word that you have planted here. For it is all for your glory, not for mine. I seek only to please you in all the ways that I can, and sometimes I feel so little in this big plan of yours, Father. I thank you once again for being with me at all times, no matter where I go or what I do. I can always look up and say, there you are. You're here in my heart. You're in my thoughts. You're around me at all times. 
and nothing else matters. In Jesus' mighty name, I ask and pray it all. Amen. And now, let us look to the Word. Uh, the heart. What lies within your heart is usually what comes into your thoughts. What you think on usually goes into the heart. And what you dwell upon will help you either receive joy, peace, beauty of God's presence, or the enemy comes in and there he takes up a lot in doubt, fear, anger, uh, frustration, aggravation. And um, he wants to take away what God wants you to have. So let's take a few minutes and read what the scripture says about the heart. In Nehemiah 9 verse 8. And foundest his heart faithful before thee, and madest a covenant with him to give the land of the Canaanites to the Hittites and Amorites and the Pezzites and the Jebusites and the Gershites to give it, I say, to his seed, and has performed thy word, for thou art righteous. Psalms 57.7 my heart is fixed, O God, my heart is fixed, I will sing and give praise. Psalms 84, 5, Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are the ways of them. Talking about God's ways. The love of Him, the beauty of His presence, the grace that rests upon us. And He has written upon our hearts His word, that we may not sin against Him, through the name of Jesus that is applied to everyone who calls out upon him. Psalms 119.80 Let my heart be sound in thy statutes that I be not ashamed. Proverbs 14.30 A sound heart is the life of the flesh, the envy, the rottenness of the bones. Jeremiah 24, 7, And I will give them an heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for they shall return unto me with their whole heart. Ezra, uh, Ezekiel 36, 26, A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart, out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. What a wonderful, beautiful love that God puts in us. He takes out the stony heart. What is a stony heart? First of all, what do you think of when you think of a stone? It's hard and moving. It lies there, heavy. It it um, makes you think of carrying burdens in a bucket full of little pebbles that add up to one large stone. And it will not give. A stony heart won't give. It just lays there. But when it's touched by God's hand, when there is a feeling of humbleness, Humility, sadness, sorrow, it becomes broken up. That stony heart becomes broken up. You realize God is doing a work. And what happens? What was once a stone becomes flesh. It now has a way of hearing God, seeing God, and looking to God. For a new way of life. What was held in anger now becomes peace. What was held in sorrow now becomes joy. What becomes in frustration is all smoothed out for God's hand has worked and nothing can hinder it. Take away the stony heart and put a fleshly heart inside by the love of God upon it. So that it can sing praise and glorify God in all he is. Our Lord, Savior, God, Healer, 
comforter. He's everything that you will ever need and much more. And Luke 8, 15 says, but, on the, but that on the good ground are they, which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. First Peter says, 3, 4, but let it be the hidden man of the heart in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of great price. So when we wear this fruit of the Spirit, which is the Spirit of Jesus resting on us, it is so much more blessed than ever you have ever imagined walking in this life. Now I pray that every one of you seek after God to allow him to deal with your heart in whichever way that he wants to lead you. And may his blessings be great and many upon you, your household, to receive all that he has planned for you this day. In Jesus' name, have a wonderful, blessed week, and may his hand lead you wherever you need to go, in whatever direction that his spirit may take you. Now, Go and enjoy your day, and if you have liked this video, click like, leave me a message if you have enjoyed it, and may you subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you, and God bless.